This is the Anglican Church in Dundee. And we have the grave here of the British uh, commanding officer in Northern Natal, General Sir William Penn Simons, who was mortally wounded at the Battle of Talana. It's significant that uh, General Penn Simons was actually one of the few survivors of the Battle of Isantlawana in 1879. And uh, now we've got <clears throat> many other places to see today. We better get going. We're now looking at the Talana battlefield. This is the Talana Hill in the background, and this is part of the uh, cemetery uh, near what is today the museum on Smith's Farm. The Battle of Talana was substantially the very first major battle of the Anglo-Boer War, and it was a British victory. But it was a bit of a Pyrrhic victory because they were still forced to retire from Dundee and their commander, General Penn Simons, was killed here or mortally wounded. These maps very clearly describe the general direction of the Boer advance which culminated in the encirclement of Ladysmith. It says it all. These represent all the foreign people or men who came to fight with the Boers. French, Russians, Spanish, the Irish Americans, also there were Scandinavians as well. <coughs> Examples of the weapons, shells, medals that were awarded during the Anglo-Boer War. He wrote a marvellous book about his experiences as, as a Boer. It was really nice to go down. This is, tells the story of Helena Herbst Bachner, who went to look for her husband and uh, eventually ended up as a soldier before they found out who she was. Colonel Scheel, who wrote about his experiences in the Boer War. A tally of forces of both sides that fought in the Second Boer War. And you can see the cairn that marks the point where General Penn Simons was mortally wounded with the great bulk of Imparti behind it. It was on this hill that uh, Denise Reitz uh, saw the Battle of Talana, although he wasn't in action at that time. This indicates the direction of the British attack on Talana. Up these slopes and finally driving the Boers from the top of the hill back towards Smith's farm. The coach house is the place just right, just left of centre with the pointed roof. And behind Dundee is the huge hill in Party. Uh, beg your pardon, in Domini. And there's a colliery over there as well. As we swing round to the town of Dundee and it was up this slope that the main British attack took place. Took place.